enter into Bill Harrington Tiger Stadium and you're not leaving without a battle. Last year was a down year by ARP standards, but now they're looking to turn the page and get back to their tradition of success. Last year didn't go the way we wanted to go. Uh, not, not making the playoffs is not our expectations on it, so we're ready to get this season going and get, a, get that nasty taste out of our mouth and get better. The Tigers returned to the field this week for the first official practices of the new season, but the work started long before Monday morning. As a 3A program, the extra spring practices aren't available, so they came up with a better idea, a May boot camp, both on the field and in the classroom, the ultimate team building experience. The boot camp, I mean, it was, it was rough. It was rough for a lot of us. We had a lot of people end up quitting or leaving, or, uh, but it, it really showed who's tough out here and uh, it brought a lot of us together. It was extremely tough, uh, had teammates going down and everybody just picking each other up and whenever uh, times got tough, everybody was just there for each other and we finished it really tough and I think that made us a way better team than what we are from last year. To get their guys ready for the season, both physically and mentally. We got to put them through tough situations on it because we know there's going to be times throughout the year that, uh, you know, we're going to get hit in the mouth on it and we got to learn, we got to know how to respond. So make no mistake, these Tigers are hungry and with impact senior leaders on both sides of the ball returning, they're ready to pounce on the opponent. Uh, yeah, it's really exciting having to be back out here with the seniors. We got a lot more practice intensity is all the way up and we just got a lot more competition out here against each other. Frank Smith, a four-year starter at quarterback. K.J. Yarbrough in the backfield. Bryant Lane, the returning leading tackler at linebacker. And as senior Christian Ward says, having this experience together will help them as the season goes on. I think it's going to be pretty valuable because most of us kids have uh, been together for six or seven years now. And like, I moved here. I've known all these boys since fourth grade. I've, I've been here most of my life. And uh, it's just a big part of the team being all just one big friendship, you know. And even after missing the playoffs last year by a single game, their goals and expectations haven't wavered. In fact, they expect more than ever. The, the expectations are definitely higher. We, I mean, the, we got new coaching staff, new techniques. I mean, the whole game's changed. And uh, I, know, I know that these coaches expect a lot out of us. So, I mean, we got to give it all.